I do feel like fever is always a hot topic and there's lots of um, myths and phobias around fever. Fever for us, at least for healthcare professionals, is not considered a fever until it's greater than 100.4. So I have a lot of parents come in, they're worried that for the last four days their uh, child has been running a fever, but it hasn't got over 99. And technically that's not a fever and that's a good thing. We don't, not that we're telling the patient that they're wrong, but that's a good thing. It means that they haven't had a true fever. The other thing is I, I get a lot of questions of how high the fever is too is scary. How high of a fever should I go to the ER? And there's really not a particular number. Certainly, if a parent, even as for me as a parent, if I saw a 104, 105 fever, I'd definitely be nervous. But if you just give Tylenol or Motrin, if they're uh, age appropriate to have Tylenol or Motrin and a cool rag, and if it comes down, that's what we want to see. And it really matters how does the kid look? You know, even with fever or without fever, are they just laying there, not moving much, and they're not, they look sick, that's one thing, and that's when you wanna bring them to the doctor to get evaluated. But if they had a 103 fever and they're running around the house playing, then that's reassuring, and that's the body's way of fighting off an illness. So there is no particular number where you have to be more scared than not, and there's no particular number where you have to go to the ER. If the child looks sick, you treat them with Tylenol and Motrin and you can get them in to see their pediatrician.